Today we're going to talk about America's inaction during the Holocaust. What did we know versus what we didn't know and what we did versus what we should have done. Okay? Exactly. Quote on the board. We talked about this the other day when we were doing our introduction to the Holocaust. Last page in your Holocaust packet, it's a quote by an old British guy named Edmund Burke. And the quote says, all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. And this is what this lesson is about today, okay? We've talked about the Holocaust. You guys understand the basics, all right? And one of the things that people generally really don't discuss is what was America's involvement in the Holocaust. We like to think that America did everything we could possibly do because that's what we're based on as a country. But what you're going to look at today is three different, are, are three different topics that involve what America knew about what was going on and why we chose to help or not help the Jews. Okay? Some of what you will read and watch in your short videos are going to be surprising to you because when we think of World War II and we think of the Holocaust, we know in the end the Allies and the good guys won. But the question of today is, did the good guys, and in particular America, do enough to help the people that were involved in the Holocaust from being killed? Okay? All right, if you guys would open up your packet, all right, you should all have individual little worksheet. All right? On the first one, your name goes at the top with today's date. Okay, and then what you are going to do on that page, and I'm just going to go through this whole packet and then let you guys get to work, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to read through the two articles and you're going to watch the short video I set up for you guys on your Chromebook and you're going to answer these three things on this first page. Number one is what, uh, what event did your group investigate? So what was the major topic you were doing? Were you doing the bombing of Auschwitz, the voyage of the St. Louis, the liberation of the camps? Write it right there. Number two, based on the video and the readings, when did this happen? Did it happen on a particular date or dates? Or did it happen over the course of a couple of years? All right? That's what you put down there. In the box at the bottom, what I want you to do is in your own words, Write a short summary of that event, okay? Three to five sentences. I am not going to count them, all right? But this is going to help you when you have to discuss whether or not what America did was adequate, okay? So what happens, all right? Flip to your next little page. All right. These are all of the things that you're going to fill out after reading your articles and watching your video. In the box, no one in here is Picasso. Okay? Especially not me. I can't draw stick figures. In the box, the first thing I want you to do, okay, based on what you understand about your topic, draw a very simple visual that represents your topic. So if you were going to draw a picture that you might show to a kid in middle school, okay, real simple, that would explain your topic, draw that picture, okay? Do not worry about how detailed you are. This is just so that I can kind of see that you understand the very simple basics, okay? Go to number two. This says the U.S. responded to whatever your topic was, you write on that line, okay, by doing what? So, based on the readings in the video, what did the U.S. do in response to your topic? Did we help the people on the St. Louis? Did we bomb Auschwitz when Jewish leaders in America asked? Did we save the people from the camps in time. Okay? What did we do? Flip over to the next page. Okay? The other day we talked about morality. Moral absolutism, moral relativism. Okay? Remember, moral absolutism is you do the right thing all the time, regardless of the situation. Moral relativism is like politics. You do what's right when you can, if you can. Okay? Your job is going to be to decide, did America do the right thing and was it moral absolutism or moral relativism? Okay? Which would you classify it under? All right? Then go down to the last one. It says, number four, the U.S. response to whatever your topic was 
was appropriate or not appropriate because. This is what your, your person, your spokesperson, will share out with the class. So in the triangle, you guys are going to discuss, based on your articles and your video, do you think that the United States did the right thing? Did we do the wrong thing? Should we have done more or did we do enough? Everybody got it? Okay. Now, put that to the side and you guys all have the little list with the five things. Do them in the order that they're on here. This is to make your life easier. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do, you guys all have a video link that fits your topic. Type that video link in, turn the volume up on the Chromebook, okay, and watch that video. Cuba slavery. Most of the people bought landing permits for Cuba, but they had been issued by the corrupt Cuban director of immigration, and not knowing they bought them when they were invalidated by the Cuban government. All the passengers on the ship were denied at the Havana Harbor in Cuba, besides 28. The American and JDC Jewish Joint Distribution Committee tried to negotiate with the Cuban president, Federico Laredo Bru, but they still said no, and the ship was forced to leave the harbor. The year was 1944. The World Jewish Congress implored the American government to bomb Auschwitz. The reply came five days later. I want to read it to you. Quote, such an operation could be executed only by diverting considerable air support essential to the success of our forces elsewhere. When you first come across it, you look, but you don't see. You listen, but you don't hear. Your mind closes down. We talked to them, and they would cry. They were beyond having a voice. Most of them tried to reach out and just touch you with a fingertip, anything just to ensure in their mind that what they were looking at on the other side of the wire, us, was real. Okay, so based on the video you watched, yeah. okay, what was the voyage of the St. Louis? If you were going to go home today, think about it this way, man. If you were going to go home and while you were helping your mom cook dinner, and you're going to be like, Mom, I learned about this thing in class today. And she says, oh, you know, Hito, what is it? Okay, what would you tell her? So it was a boat full of Jewish people that went from here to here. And when they got to America, what did they ask for? And what did America say? Oh, sorry. And what did America say? American allies did not care about what was happening to the Jews. And the thought of helping them was out of their way. They didn't want to take a large number of Jews. That's why they didn't want it. That's why they didn't help. And because it wasn't... It wasn't their concern, they would have got themselves into some more deeper problem. Bellamy told us that story about how he found pictures in his grandpa's attic or something. Mm -hmm. And he asked his grandpa, oh, what are these pictures for? And he said, I'll tell you when you're older. This guy kind of has the same story, except his grandpa passed away before he could show him the pictures or discuss them with him. So he just had to go through each one. Mm -hmm. It is never correct to murder someone. You don't kill someone in war. You don't kill someone defending, okay, your wife. Nothing. You never take a life. Moral relativism means it depends on the situation. It depends, okay? That would be wrong for moral absolutism, saying that they didn't want to go out their way to save them or that they didn't want to um, bring the people here. Yeah, you could say that. And, and you could all like, and... Again, it's tricky, remember, it's like your opinion. You could say it's moral absolutism because regardless of what we say, regardless of what the president said, regardless of what anyone said, mm -hmm. the right thing to do was to save those people. Okay. Boom, period. But the argument, moral relativism, is the United States government said, well, we're fighting a war, okay? Mm -hmm. We can't focus on just saving the Jews. Mm -hmm. Our best effort is to win the war so that the Jews will be saved. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna present out number four, okay? Whether or not you believe what America did was right, wrong, appropriate, inappropriate, enough, not enough. I'm gonna fill a chart out. All I want you guys to do is listen to what the people from the groups are reporting out. One of the things that you might notice is that each of the groups may have very similar takes on the events. While there are three different events, America's reaction or inaction to these things may be very similar. Go, sir. Okay, uh, yep. my group did the Voyage of the St. Louis. Uh, we decided that the response was not appropriate because we turned our back on the refugees, sent them back to Europe. Um, 245 people died out of 937, and uh, we should have let them in to the country instead of turn our backs on them. Okay. The second group that we're going to have present is going to be the group that read about and discussed the U.S.'s inaction in the bombing of Auschwitz, the largest of the death camps in Poland. Jose, go for it. All right. Um yeah, my group did the bombing of Auschwitz, and uh, we decided it was not appropriate because they could have they could have sacrificed a few Jew lives to save future lives, but they didn't. Um, what they should have done is they should have bombed the the train that was transporting all the Jews to the concentration camps, because it would have probably saved a couple more, a couple thousand lives. Um, I think they were being selfish just because they were beating around the bush. They could have told them that they didn't, that they, they couldn't help them. They could have seeked further help, but that's it. So do you, so do you believe that the United States and our government was not very upfront with the Jewish leaders who asked for that to happen? Yeah. They, yep. The reason why is because, um, they they lied like they could have, they could have they had the um, how do you say they were able to bomb them but they lied and they said that they didn't have the capacity or the right coordinates to do it or whatever when they really could have but they didn't want to do it just because of problems or they didn't want the Jews to come in or and explain explain that last point that you just made because I heard you talking about it and I thought it was great what if if we had done that what might the U S have been responsible for doing yeah if we would have. Uh, bomb that train or whatever, or the camp or whatever, we would have been responsible for the refugees that would have had to come had to, uh, come to America, and the Americans didn't want to deal with that. Okay, so very similar to the voyage of the St. Uh, Louis, the 900 people who asked for asylum in America, we didn't take them, so you believe that had we done something, the U.S. would have maybe in the end had to have taken more Jewish people in at the end of the war, and we didn't want to do that. Yeah. Okay, our last group is going to be the group that is, was reading about and debating about whether or not the United States and the Allies did enough in the liberation of the camps, i.e. the death camps and the concentration camps. Janessa, go for it. Okay, so what we said was we believe that the response to this was appropriate yet inappropriate. It was appropriate in the sense that we helped all of these people, that we liberated the camps and that we did what we could at the time. But it was inappropriate because we held it, like we pushed it off for so long. Like, we knew what was happening. We knew these things were just horrible for the people that they were happening to. Yet we chose not to act until so many people had died and so many awful things had happened. And Janessa, question. Okay. Why do you think the United States did not act sooner? Were we unable to, had we not won the war, or were we focused on other things? I think maybe it was like a bit of all of that. Like, we knew that we could help, but we chose not to. I think mainly because we were a little uh, afraid, we were a little like iffy. Maybe because we considered the whole thing not entirely our problem. Okay. You know, we thought, hey, this isn't happening here, so it's not really affecting us. We don't have to act on it. But then at the same time, it's just, I didn't think that that was right. Okay. So morally, you believe it was wrong? 